Welcome to Today in Nerd History for April 22nd. The page that eventually became Today in Nerd History was first created in 2011. Happy Earth Day. Earth Day is an annual event on April 22nd to demonstrate support for environmental protection. First held on April 22, 1970, it now includes a wide range of events coordinated globally by EarthDay.org, formerly Earth Day Network, including 1 billion people in more than 193 countries. The Star Trek The Next Generation episode, The Icarus Factor, aired April 22, 1989. In this episode, Riker's delight at being offered a command of the USS Ares turns to frustration when the man sent to prepare him for his mission is his estranged father. Meanwhile, Worf's behavior leads Wesley to delve into Klingon tradition. The Star Trek Deep Space Nine episode, Shattered Mirror, aired April 22, 1996. In this episode, when the Mirror Universe counterpart of Sisko's deceased wife lures Jake to the other side, Sisko must follow and help the Terran resistance against the Alliance forces. The Star Trek Deep Space Nine episode, His Way, aired April 22, 1998. In this episode, Odo is schooled in the ways of romance by a holographic, programmed lounge singer. The Star Trek Voyager episode, Unforgettable, aired April 22, 1998. In this episode, an alien woman, from a closed world, seeks asylum aboard Voyager, claiming, she's been there before, and that she and Chakotay were lovers, but no one remembers her. The Star Trek Enterprise episode, In a Mirror Darkly, aired April 22, 2005. In this episode, while in the Mirror Universe, the crew of the ISS Enterprise, are fighting rebels, who oppose the Terran Empire, when they discover the Tholians, have captured a vessel, from the future. The Doctor Who episode, Tooth and Claw, aired April 22, 2006. In this episode, the Doctor and Rose are transported to 19th century Scotland, where they meet Queen Victoria, and try to protect her from a ravenous werewolf, and a band of, assassinating warrior monks. The Doctor Who episode, Smile, aired April 22, 2017. In this episode, in the far future, at the edge of the galaxy, there is a gleaming, perfect city. This brand new, human settlement, is said to hold the secret of human happiness. Remembering Glenn Campbell, born April 22, 1936 and passed away, August 8, 2017. Glenn Travis Campbell, was an American guitarist, singer, songwriter, actor and TV host. He was best known for a series of hit songs in the 1960s and 1970s, and for hosting the Glenn Campbell Good Time Hour, on CBS television, from 1969 until 1972. He released 64 albums in a career that spanned five decades, selling over 45 million records worldwide, including 12 gold albums, four platinum albums, and one double platinum album. Among his hits are, Universal Soldier, his first hit from 1965, along with, Gentle on My Mind, 1967, By the Time I Get to Phoenix, 1967, Dreams of the Everyday Housewife, 1968, Wichita Lineman, 1968, Galveston, 1969, Rhinestone Cowboy, 1975, and Southern Nights, 1977. Remembering Eddie Albert, born April 22, 1906 and passed away May 26, 2005. Edward Albert Heimberger was an American actor and activist. He was twice nominated for the Academy Award for Best Supporting Actor, the first nomination came in 1954 for his performance in Roman Holiday, and the second in 1973 for The Heartbreak Kid. Other well-known screen roles of his include Bing Edwards in the Brother Rat movies, traveling salesman Ali Hakim in the musical Oklahoma, and the sadistic prison warden in 1974's The Longest Yard. He starred as Oliver Wendell Douglas in the 1960s TV series, Green Acres, and is Frank McBride in the 1970s crime drama, Switch. He also had a recurring role as Carlton Travis on Falcon Crest. Happy birthday Jack Nicholson, born April 22, 1937. John Joseph Nicholson is an American actor, film director, producer, and writer. Throughout his career, he has played unique and challenging roles, 
many of which include dark portrayals of excitable, neurotic and psychopathic characters. He has won the Academy Award for Best Actor twice, one for the drama, One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest, and the other for the romantic comedy, As Good As It Gets. He also won the Academy Award for Best Supporting Actor for the comedy drama, Terms of Endearment. In 1988 he won a Grammy Award for Best Album for Children, for The Elephant's Child. He is well known for playing, Frank Costello in the Martin Scorsese-directed crime drama, The Departed, Jack Torrance, in the Stanley Kubrick-directed psychological horror film, The Shining, and The Joker, in Batman. He is one of only two actors to be nominated for an Academy Award for acting in every decade from the 1960s to the 2000s. The other was Michael Caine. He has won six Golden Globe Awards, and received the Kennedy Center Honor in 2001. In 1994, he became one of the youngest actors to be awarded the American Film Institute's Life Achievement Award. Other notable films in which he has starred include, Easy Rider, Five Easy Pieces, The Last Detail, Chinatown, The Passenger, Reds, Wolf, A Few Good Men, The Pledge, and About Schmidt. Happy Birthday Peter Frampton, born April 22, 1950. Peter Kenneth Frampton is a rock musician, singer, songwriter, and producer. He was previously associated with the bands, Humble Pie and, The Herd. As a solo artist, he has released several albums, including his international breakthrough album, the live release, Frampton Comes Alive, which spawned several hit singles. He has also worked with Ringo Starr, The Who's, John Entwistle, David Bowie, and both Matt Cameron, and Mike McCready, from Pearl Jam, among others. Frampton is best known, for such hits as, Show Me The Way, Baby, I Love Your Way, Do You Feel Like We Do? and, I'm In You, which remain staples on classic rock radio. He has also appeared as himself, on TV shows such as, The Simpsons, Family Guy, and Madam Secretary. Happy Birthday, Jeffrey Dean Morgan, born April 22, 1966. He is an American actor who is known for playing Denny Duquette, in Grey's Anatomy, John Winchester, on Supernatural, The Comedian, in 2009's Watchmen, Ike Evans, in Magic City, J.K. Richter, in Extant, Jason Kroos, on The Good Wife, and of course, Negan, in, The Walking Dead. He played the Zindi Damron, in the Star Trek Enterprise episode, Carpenter Street, and was also in the movie, Rampage. Happy Birthday Ryan Stiles, born April 22, 1959. Ryan Lee Stiles is an actor, comedian, and producer. He is best known for his work on, Whose Line Is It Anyway?, and for his role as, Louis Kiniski, on The Drew Carey Show. He also played Herb Melnick, on the CBS comedy, Two and a Half Men, and was a performer, on the show, Drew Carey's Improvaganza. Happy birthday Manu Interami, born April 22, 1978. He is an actor, known for his role as Icheb, on Star Trek Voyager. In 2011, he was in, Fortress, Radical 3D and Driving by Braille. He can also be seen, in the short films, Expired, and Ex-Girlfriends. He is also a writer and director, and worked on a project called, Odyssey. He also played Billy, in season 9 of, One Tree Hill. Some of his other work include, Six Gun Savior, Benjamin Troubles, Fifth Passenger, Star Trek Renegades, as Icheb, 24, J. Edgar, Orange County, Pearl Harbor, Senseless, Sabrina the Teenage Witch, The King of Queens, Parent Trapped, Smart Guy, Henderson House Party, Jag, Embassy, Pacific Blue, and Cop in a Box. Happy Birthday Steve Bond, born April 22, 1953. Steve Bond Born Shlomo Goldberg, portrayed one of Khan's crewmen in Star Trek II The Wrath of Khan. He also had roles in a number of TV series, such as McCloud, The Incredible Hulk, General Hospital, Silk Stockings, and 52 Car Pickup. Other movies that he was in include, Miracle on Ice, The Prey, Son of Darkness, To Die for Two, Trist, Space Jacked, My Favorite Martian, and the Joyriders.
He was also in the made-for-TV movie, Epic. Happy birthday, Cassidy Freeman, born April 22, 1982. She is known for her role as Tess Mercer on Smallville and Katie Longmire in Longmire. In Once Upon a Time, she played Jacqueline, Jack, in the episode, Tiny. Happy birthday, Vadia Potenza, born April 22, 1971. He is one of four actors, aside from Leonard Nimoy, who acted out the role of Spock in Star Trek III The Search for Spock. He played Spock at 13 years of age. He hails from New York City, New York, and in more recent years, he has turned to behind-the-scenes work. Happy birthday, Ken Oland, born April 22, 1958. He played Jason Vigo in the Star Trek The Next Generation episode, Bloodlines. Well, that's it for today, folks. I appreciate you listening, and uh, if you enjoyed the show, please feel free to tell your friends about uh, little old me here. Have a wonderful day.